Hey guys, Alex here. Uh, welcome back to Undertale. I know it's been quite a long time, but uh, here we are. Now, you may notice something about my save time, and the fact that it is now three hours long instead of whatever huge number it was before. And the reason for that is I started recording this <laughs> uh, about, I don't know, a week ago. And I started doing the Elf's content, and then I saved my game, and I looked at I looked at the thing, I looked at my OBS, and it was not recording. So, I had to replay the entire game, but I didn't have the motivation to do it. But now, here I am, I'm just going to lay in this bed of flowers until I feel the motivation to move on. It is what I would have said if that's actually how I felt. Let's get this show on the road. I will see you guys in a moment. We're just gonna sink into this uh, this this bed of flowers and teleport to where we need to be. All right, we're here, guys. This is where we need to be. If the event doesn't activate, I'll be sad. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. For that. Hey, uh, this is Undyne. Shut up, Papyrus. This was your idea. Human, you have to deliver something for me. Uh, please? I'm at Snowden in front of Papyrus's. I'm just, my voices for this. My voices for this are not gonna be the greatest. See ya, punk. Look. Uh, I'm not looking forward to voicing these characters after it's been so long. <laughs> They're not, the voices are not gonna sound good. Oh god. Alright, let's get going. There's these flamesmen. And away we go. Here we are in Snowden, and uh, there's Papyrus and Undyne. Hey Papyrus, what's up? It seems Undyne has something for you. She's a person that's not me. <laughs> okay. Hey, I have something to give you. But you're carrying way too much. Dimensional storage. Butterscotch pie. I'm so I have a favor to ask you. Uh, I need you to leave, de 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 deliver this letter to Dr. Alphys. Huh? Why don't I do it myself? Um, well, look at her face. <laughs> it it's kind of personal, but we're friends, so I'll tell you. Hotland sucks. I don't want to have to go over there. So here you go. You gotta die in the letter. Oh, and if you read it, I'll kill you. Thanks so much. You're the best. I know I am. Sometimes. On occasion. I'm okay. I'm not fantastic, but I'm okay. Alright, let's head back. To Hotland. Honey, I'm home. The door has no mail slot. Slide the letter under. Slide. You slide the letter under and give it under the door. <laughs> you slide the letter under the door and give it a knock. I'm so sorry, it's currently 12 a.m. and I just spent the last three hours playing through this game. Uh, oh no, 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 is that another letter? I don't want to open it. Can't I just slide it back out? N no, I can't keep doing this. I'll read this one. Um, it should kind of strongly, isn't it? Wait a second. Is that a chainsaw? <laughs> what was that? Hey, if this is a joke, it's... Oh my god. Did you write this letter? It wasn't signed, so I had no idea who could have... Oh my god, oh no. That's adorable. I had no idea you wrote that way. It's surprising, too. After all the gross stuff I did, I probably should have looked at this letter in my inventory. I don't really deserve to be forgiven. Much less, um... This? And so passionately, too. What kind of love letter did Undyne write, Alphys? You know what? Okay, I'll do it. It's the least I can do to make it up to you. Yeah, let's go on a date. No. Dating start? Uh, sorry, I'm still getting dressed. Dressed? Oh, okay, she has an actual dress instead of a lab coat. How do I look? My friend helped me pick out this dress. She's got a great sense of... Um, anyway, let's do this thing. Getting start. 
Hey, wait. Actually, we still can't start the date yet. Dating, stop. Um, I've got to give you items to raise your affection statistic first. That'll increase the chance of a successful outcome to the date. Right? Anyway, don't worry, I'm prepared. I've been stockpiling gifts in anticipation for a gift like a date like this. Oh my god, I'm tired. <laughs> but first, I've got some metal armor polish. Uh, maybe you can't use that. But, I also brought some waterproof cream for your scales. My what? Have you looked at my skin? Have you... Do I look scaly to you? Your, uh, scales. Uh, well, how about this magical spirit bear kit that I, um... Hey, let's forget about the items. Yeah, this is Jesus, 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 crushing hard on another dime. Let's just start the date. Dating start. Yeah, let's, uh, date. Where's the dating music? Why is she... Okay. What is it now, Alphys? Uh, do you like anime? I do. I do like anime recently. I just watched ReZero Season 2. And what else have I... What else did I watch? You guys aren't here to listen to me talk about anime, so I'll keep it short. But, um... Oh, I started watching Attack on Titan. I need to start re continuing that because I took a, I took time off. Hey, me too. I don't watch Mew Mew Kissy Kitty or whatever it's called. Sorry, Office. Hey, let's go somewhere. But where's the place to go on a date? I've got it. Let's go to the garbage dump. Why? What? She's never been on a date before, has she? <laughs> There's a garbage can. Here we are! This is where Undyne and I come all the time. Oh, uh, yep, there you and Undyne. We find all sorts of great stuff here. <laughs> She's really... Uh... Oh, no. That's her over there. I, I can't let her see me on a date with you. Why? Because, uh, well... Oh, no, here she comes. Hey, there you are. I, uh, realized if you deliver that thing, it might be a bad idea. So I'm gonna do it. Give it to me. Huh? You don't have it? Yeah. Have you at least seen her? Hmm... Nope. No? But she wasn't home. Where the heck could she be? I'm pretty sure my undying voice just changed since the beginning of the episode. Oh my god. Well, I guess it's obvious, huh? I, uh, I really like her. I mean, more than I like other people. I'm sorry. I just figured, you know... It'd be fun to go out, like, a cute kind of pretend date with you to, to make you feel better. That's really mean. With good intentions, but really mean. Well, it sounds even worse when I put it like that. Yeah, no shit. I could not save that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I messed up again. Me too. And that's the person I uh, really want to go on a date with. But I mean, she's way out of my league. N not that you aren't dumb. Cool. But Undyne, she's so confident and strong and funny. I'm just a nobody. A fraud. I'm the royal scientist, but all I've ever done is hurt people. I've told her so many lies, she thinks I'm she thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. If she gets close to me, she'll she'll find out the truth about me. What should I do? You have to tell her the truth, Alphys. Can't keep lying. The truth? What if I tell her that she'll hate me? Isn't it better this way? To live a lie where both people are happy? Or truth where neither of us are? They say be yourself, but I don't really like who myself is. I feel that on a really, really personal level. It's really easy to wake up and look in the mirror and just sometimes stare at yourself and think about how you could be different, but. You're not. And I connect, I connect with Elvis on a really personal level right now. I understand that. But at the same time, you have to accept yourself for who you are. And if there's things, if there are things you want to change about yourself, you have to put in the effort to change yourself. Because nothing's going to change just by wallowing in self-loathing. You'd rather just be whatever makes people like me. But you can't do that because that's just not 
who you should be. Also, I just noticed there's the annoying dog in the background. Give me back the jewel pearl thing. Oh, wait, I didn't do that in this game. It's this time, this run. <laughs> no, you're right. Every day I'm scared. I'm scared what will happen if people learn the truth on their own. They'll all get hurt because of me. How can I tell Undyne the tr truth? I did, don't have the confidence. I'm going to mess it up. How can I practice? <laughs> Obviously, let's roleplay. Roleplay? That actually sounds kind of fun. Okay, which one of us will be Undyne? I'll be Undyne. Oh, right. Obviously. <laughs> Ahem. Uh, hi, Undyne. How are you doing today? <laughs> <laughs> You're cute. Thanks. You say that to me a lot. I never know what to say. Alphys. For a scientist who put a jetpack in my phone. You're pretty clueless. But I know, you just mean it platonically because we're just friends. <laughs> no. Uh, so I'd like to um talk to you about something. <laughs> then she kisses you. <laughs> what? Undyne would never, uh... I kiss her back, so softly. I, I look gently under her eyes. I start hollering. <laughs> Undyne, I love you, Undyne. Kiss me again, Undyne. say uh, undyne i was just hey well wait a second your outfit's really cute what's the occasion wait a second are you two on a date uh yes i mean uh no i mean we were but uh, but actually i mean actually we were only romantically role playing as you what i mean i mean undyne i i've been lying to you what about what but well everything I told you that seaweed was like scientifically important. I really, I just use it to make ice cream. And those human history books I keep reading, those are just dorky comic books. And the history movies, those, those are just uh, anime. They aren't real. And the time I told you I was busy working on the phone, I was just eating frozen yogurt in my pajamas. And that time, I, Alphys, I, I just wanted to impress you. I just wanted you to think I was smart and cool, but I wasn't some nerdy loser, Alphys. Undyne, I, I really think you're neat, okay? Alphys. Oh, she's giving her a hug. Oh no. She's gonna dunk her. Eh, close enough. Alphys! I, I think you're neat too, I guess. But you've gotta realize most of what you just said really doesn't matter to me. I don't care if you're watching cute cartoons or reading history books. To me, all of that stuff is just nerdy crap. What I like about you is that you're passionate, you're analytical. It doesn't matter what it is, you care about it 100% to that maximum power. So you don't have to lie to me. I don't want you to have to lie to anyone anymore. Alphys, I want to help you become happy with who you are. Now that's a good friendship. That's that's a good support system. And I know just the training you need to do that. You should hold your friends accountable as a friend to them. You should hold people you care about accountable so they can be better people through you if necessary, if that makes sense. You shouldn't force them to become better people, to meet your standards. But if they want to raise their own standards, you should assist them if they ask you to. You should hold them accountable to the change they want to see. I know just the training you need to do that. <laughs> She's in the garbage can. I'm dying, you. You're gonna train me? <laughs> what, me? <laughs> <laughs> he just shows up. Nah, I'm getting a papyrus to do it. Get those. Oh my god, I got possessed. 
Get those bones shaking! Ha ha ha! No. I would do the pirate's voice. Get those bones shaking! It's time to drag a hundred laps, hooting about how great we are! Ready? I'm about to start the timer. Uh, undyne. I'll do my best. Oh my god. Who was kidding, right? Those cartoons, those comics, those are all still real. Right? Anime's real, right? She's having a mental break. Oh no. Anime's real, anime's real, anime's real. <laughs> I knew it. Gigantic swords, magical princesses. Here I come. Uh, thanks for taking care of Alphys. I didn't get to say what I wanted to, but things seem like they're going to be get better for her. Well, I gotta go catch up with them. Later. Okay, but... <laughs> the facial expression when Undyne showed up and Alphys was screaming, The future Alex, you know what you have to do. You have to go. You know what you have to do. Those facial expressions are just... <laughs> They're golden. Oh my god. Alright, hold on. I gotta go back and... I can take the astronaut food because I just kind of st I sped through this game as fast as I could replaying it. Ring. Howdy. No. Howdy. <clears throat> no. Yeah. Howdy. If it isn't my good friend, who trusts me? This is Papyrus, your also mutual friend. Elvis and I finished our training early. Very early. <laughs> so I sent her home. Very home. <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, now. I feel strongly and for no apparent reason. You should also go there. To her lab house. I have only good feelings about this. Goodbye. Click. I guess that's where we're going. Where am I right now? Oh, I'm back at the waterfall thing. Quiet area. Oh, the messages are back. I guess it was only just like an endgame thing where the messages were gone. Hmm. Interesting. Tra la la, care for a ride, ride in the boat? Yes, I will. Hot land. And we're off. Hi ho, silver away! Tra la la, I can only hold up for so often. Remember to take a break every so often. I need to take a break after this. Dear God. Three hours straight of Undertale. Was not good for me. Come again sometime. Try to laugh. Alright. I don't know why I keep saving compulsively like this. Especially after what happened last time. Where I know that I shouldn't save like that. Because it will lead to my demise where I have to play through three hours of the game again. Uh, yeah. I'll take a packet of noodles. Are there any more packets of noodles? Oh, no. The noodles were stupid last time. What? What is this? It's a note from Alphys. Read it? Do not. It's hard to read because of the handwriting, but you try your best. Hey, thanks for your help back there. You guys, your support really means a lot to me. But, as difficult as it is to say this, you guys alone can't magically make my own problems go away. I want to be a better person. I don't want to be afraid anymore. For that to happen, I have to be able to face my own mistakes. I'm going to start doing that now. I want to be clear, this isn't anyone else's problem but mine. But if you don't ever hear from me again, if you want to know the truth, enter the door to the north of this note. You all at least deserve to know what I did. That's all she wrote. There's an elevator? Wasn't this a washroom? That she was hiding in? Yeah, what? Excuse me, what? Hmm. I guess I'll go down. Oh, that's not good. Warning, warning, elevator losing power. Losing power? EM tethers to ability. Am I gonna die? Did she just kill me? Altitude dropping. Oh, I'm dead. She just murdered me. Yeah, that thing just exploded. Okay. I'm somehow alive.
none of the buttons work. It seems to have lost power. Where am I? This is ominous. Entry number one. This is it. Time to do what the king has asked me to do. I will create the power to free us all. I will unleash the power of this soul. Entry number two. The barrier is locked by soul power. Unfortunately, this power cannot be recreated artificially. Soul power can only be derived from what was once living. So to create more, we will have to use what we have now. The souls of monsters. What? Entry number three. But extracting a soul from a living monster would require, require incredible pro power. <laughs> oh my god. Besides being impractical, doing so would instantly destroy the soul's host. And unlike the persistent souls of humans, the souls of most monsters disappear immediately upon death. Only they could make a monster soul last. Did they kill monsters? I've done it. Using the blueprints, I've extracted it from human souls. I believe this is what gives their souls the strength to persist after death. The will to keep living, the resolve to change fate. Let's call this power... Determination. Stay determined. Oh my god. Oh my god, what is this music? I don't like that. That's creepy. That's creepy. Okay, um... Let's read this note and then save everything else. Uh, there's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Elevator, lost power, enter the center door. That's all you could read. Power room. Buy chips for 25 gold. Chips. Can I buy infinite chips? I guess I can. It's a fake plant. I think I should call it an episode here. Because I have a feeling this is going to be pretty... Wait, what did that say? True laboratory. This is Alphys' real lab under her lab. Also, this music is kind of hitting hard now. I like it. Alright. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Undertale. I know it's been a while. I think it's been a month, honestly. And if it hasn't, oops. If it's been more, also oops. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. I think I said that already. I'm so tired. Uh, please leave a like, subscribe, uh, ring the bell, leave a comment. And uh, click on the end card video and watch whatever is recommended next. Uh, I'll see you guys all in the next episode of Undertale. Where we, uh, I guess we're heading into the true laboratory. I'm kind of afraid of what's down here. Honestly, I don't like the vibe this place is giving me. But, I don't have much of a choice, do I? See you all next time. Hasta luego. Come on. Thank you.